So the first thing I decided to do after being stuck in the CPL bubble for over a month was to take a walk and explore the surrounding places. One end of the hotel ends up in a dead end road while the other end of the hotel leads to a golf course. You know what the funny part is about this golf course over here? Uh, there's no fencing or boundaries. So that's my hotel and I can just walk into the golf course. Such a beautiful view. The next day, after I finished my hike up Mount Lyamiga, I took the local bus to the main city of Basseterre. These are actually how big their local buses are. And this is their main bus stand, which also happens to be next to the main ferry terminal. For the bus for having a green color uh, vehicle registration plate. The Caribbean islands, I tell you, are a mood. Everyone's always moving and grooving to some of the other music. So the music playing behind is a laundry mat and a ATM. So people were drinking at 11 in the morning. I thought that was weird. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Everyone's out on the road, either drinking or partying. And it's a Friday afternoon. Like, like I don't know what to say. Not to feel left out, I found a really local bar and decided to join in the festivities. After some delicious food and beer, I decided to head out to Cockleshell Beach at the southernmost end of the island. The drive to the beach takes you up this magnificent viewpoint where I had to get down from my cab and take in the views. So um, I met Diamond over there by the shop, he said uh, go snorkeling now and then maybe night kayaking later and don't do the regular kayaking, I said fuck yeah man, I love that suggestion, so decided to uh, get some snorkeling gear and uh, go out kayaking, I mean sorry, what am I saying, I'm too drunk for this shit. I shouldn't be out, but I am going to be out. I'm out snorkeling. Okay, see you in the water. Always wondered how Aquaman kind of walks into the ocean. I'm like, Ugh. big fins can't walk. I think it's easier to walk. What is nice and cool. And uh, have to go for a bit. Having explored different forms of kayaking, night kayaking was something totally unheard of for me. So the minute I heard it, I knew I definitely wanted to check it out. Diamond, the guy who runs these trips, outfits these kayaks with special waterproof LEDs that light up the ocean floor. 
This then lets you explore the ocean wildlife at night. And trust me, this is a once in a lifetime experience you cannot miss. Asha, how was the experience? It was wonderful. Absolutely beautiful to be just, even if we didn't see anything, just being on the water at night. It was just a peaceful experience that you just can't replicate other than being on the water. Yep. And that's it folks. You're not going to see more of my face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>